your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help your... No, really. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report.
Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Running around in a marauder's attire. You're liable to give some people the wrong idea. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers that got eaten by him. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town, avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls, and low, low prices. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites, we rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Yeah? Former people, yeah. Marauder's been raiding my graves, you see. Hence the armed guards. Well, if you're gonna go headhunting, talk to Constable Reyes back in town. She pays for marauders by the finger. Couldn't tell you. No, I mean, I'm contractually prohibited from saying anything that might reflect poorly on Spacer's choice. Ah, avoid it. Shouldn't have said that either. Look, forget I said anything. Hang on, I'm doing some math in my head. Uh, 20, 30, carry the one... Uh, all my life? Work's been real good to me. Fresh air, exercise. Only problem is the paperwork. Can't get anybody to pay their gravesite fees. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed.
I've got some time. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Had your rations yet? monkey Argo I'm sorry Mr. Thompson sir you asked why it's taking so long to fix the answers technical don't apologize just try using small words for me the cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna which isn't what we've got Mr. Thompson I think there's someone here to see you focus Miss Holcomb you and I are still talking let's start over Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. Mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in... Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. You were saying, Miss Holcomb. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I, I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm Reed Thompson, Outpost Administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Only regulator we've got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. The geothermal plant was built by our owners, Spacer's Choice. Lit up the whole Vale once upon a time. Most of the Vale is now abandoned. All that power is going to waste. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. 
My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. Let's talk when you're free. Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is, she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but... Every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. The mission's on the east side of town. You can't miss it. On account of it being the only clean thing. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. 
That's what my dad used to say anyways. Thank you.